Very advanced probe settings and multi-sim live. So here we have a common emitter amplifier circuit implemented with a BJT. And you know, since this is an amplifier circuit, I might be tempted to, and it's already assembled, I might be tempted to just plop down some probes and measure the actual gain of this circuit. So in multi-sim, I can plop down those probes that I get out of this part bin, run an interactive solution or interactive simulation, wait for that to run. I usually only do this for a few seconds, let it reach steady state and then stop. I can go to the grapher then. And here I can actually go through with cursors and measure this. So it looks like I've got close to three volts peak to peak on the output for what looks to be uh, what looks to be about 200 millivolts peak to peak in. Let's simplify this. So pro there are more probe settings. I mean, we can put down probes and we get the instantaneous values by default with a voltage probe in Multisim Live. But if we click on a probe, even after the simulation is run, and go to the gear icon, it's the gear icon over here. So the measurement labels, if we change the interactive simulation options here, we can take away the instantaneous and we can put down the periodic. Okay, and if you do that for each of your probes, what you get is this nice clean display of all the values. So we get peak to peak, RMS, average, V average, this is DC, and we get the frequency. So now we can very quickly inspect the gain, right? If we go over here to the right, I see 2.85 volts peak to peak. That's for 200 volts in. So here we can quickly inspect the peak to peak RMS average voltages and frequency for voltage probes in multi-sim. So again, the way you get to that menu is you click on the probe expand the gear icon and change the measurement labels from the default of instantaneous to periodic. And that is how you access the advanced probe settings in Multisim Live.